Greece. <laughs> What's up Eurovision people? My name is Sean and on my channel I talk about all things Eurovision. Yes, literally, all things Eurovision. I do reactions, I do predictions. So if you love all of that stuff and if you love Eurovision, so do I. Come and subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my content. It's fun, it's real, it's honest. And it's it makes sense. Let's be real. It makes sense. So do come and subscribe. I would love to have you here. I would be very grateful. And while you're at it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video and come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok for more Eurovision related material. Thank you so much. If you missed out on semi-final one prediction, you can find it on the link below because I already re I already predicted semi-final one. Semi-final two predictions. Let's go. We have a running order. I have a board. I have graphics. And I'm going to tell you who I think will qualify from this semi-final based on everything we have. So there are six songs that I think will be qualifying, that, that I feel comfortable saying they will be qualifying. I'm not worried about them at all. Um, and let's, let's just jump straight to it. The first country I think is going to the final is Austria. Austria is going to the final. There are not many songs that can win the televote in the semi-final. I think Austria is competing to do that. Po Po Po, Edgar Allan Poe, not much to say, this is going to the final. The second song I think is going through is Armenia. Second song going through, second song in the running order, don't worry. It's sandwiched between two songs that might not qualify. So we we will be seeing Armenia in the final, don't you worry. Song number three that I think is going through is Georgia. Welcome back to the final Georgia. This is going through. Come on now, yo. This is going through. Terrible lyrics. We can't understand a word. Yes. Should have been in Georgian. Absolutely. But the song slaps. The song slaps. And if there was a jury, Georgia would be gliding through. Country number four that I think is going through. And it might surprise some of you. Estonia. There is always time to get back on track. Tearing down the wall slowly every... I've been saying this for a while. This song is the voila moment. This is the Kiara moment. It's an excellent vocal performance. It's a really theatrical, beautifully produced and melodic song. People will latch onto this. I think this actually might, might do better than the ballad that is coming two songs before it. So watch out, watch out. I think Stone is gonna do wonders. The fifth one that I'm picking, I think this is going through with ease, is Slovenia. Slovenia will be in the final guys, come on now Slovenia will be in the final This is actually my favorite rock song this year And I think it might be Europe's favorite rock song This is excellent, this is going through Final is number 6 I think this is Cyprus I think Cyprus is going through. Yeah, this is a perfectly produced pop song with with quite a good progression and a really good melody. And if Andrew Lambro has the vocal performance that I think he has, then we could be in for another vocal moment. Okay, so those are my six safe qualifiers. There are, however, three songs that I think will not make it through, even if they have Dancing Angels on stage. The first one, and I hate to say it because I'm always rooting for them, it's San Marino. Come on guys, this song is terrible. It's got no pro progression, no production, no melody. It's just... It's not gonna happen this year, San Marino. The second one, and I think they don't have a terrible running order actually. They have quite a good running order, but I don't think they're qualified. The song is... It's Iceland. It's Iceland. I don't see it for Iceland. But then again, I never see it for Iceland last year. Um, this is too generic, too bland. I don't think anyone 
anyone would be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna vote for that song from Iceland. Third song that up until a few days ago I had as a borderline, but now I'm having as a no. And I think it's completely buried in dust in the running order. I hate to say it, it's Romania. I like this. I think it could be a really good moment on stage, but uh, the performance, we don't have the performance. Let's, let's, let's face it. And if it's the same performance, then we know it's going to be a terrible performance. So I can only speak on what I know and I don't, I don't, I don't see it for Romania this year. That leaves us with seven countries on the borderline and they are Denmark, Belgium, Greece, Poland, Albania, Lithuania, and Australia. Two of these I think are going through. I hope so, because I like both of them, but I genuinely think that Albania is going through. This is the reason why we're sleeping on Albania. And by we, I don't mean me, because I have this at my number three. But this song on Spotify doesn't do anything, does it? But when you just look at what what is going to be live, I mean, this was the beauty of it at Festival Etenges. The live performance was excellent. It connected with people. It was an emotion, a passion that really, really made it work for the song. And I think the same thing is going to happen in Liverpool. I think the televote will eat this up. We won't be seeing Albania out of the semis, guys, come on. I only say it's borderline because people are really sleeping on it and that makes me think. But no, this needs to qualify and I think it will. Finalist number eight in my prediction is... <laughs> Belgium. Decent running order. And it's a song that comes alive, live. Might not do so well in the final, but I think it's gonna qualify. People will be up on their feet dancing to this. I think this is going through. There are two countries that I'm really uncomfortable saying that I might think they won't go through. They've been lucky in the past. They have really been lucky. The first one that I think won't go through, or more I hope so, but I, I think so as well. This is a prediction. Come on now, snap out of it. It's Greece. The song is a snooze fest. I don't think it's immediate. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's gonna latch onto anyone. They don't have bad running order. And let's face it, Greece is lucky. Greece is really lucky. But, but, I will say this is not as strong a semi-final as what I'm about to compare this situation to. But in 2018, Greece did not qualify with an arguably much better, or at least a much more televote friendly song. And they did have both Cyprus and Albania with them in the semi to vote for them. So they, they only came 10th. They only came 10th in the televote. I don't think this can do much better than that, honestly. Even with the semi final that we have, I really don't think this can do that much better than that. <laughs> Watch me be wrong, because the Greeks at Eurovision, they are lucky. But this song, I don't want to say unfair, but it would be sad if disqualified for me. The second one that I think is not qualifying, and I might be wrong on this, but I, I have to make, I have to pick 10 guys. I have to pick 10. Poland. Nobody knows what happened at the national final. I mean, Casual Eurovision viewers won't know what happened, so they don't have that to like use it as an excuse to not vote for it. And this is an easy listening song, you know, now I'm doing so low, so low. It, it, it might latch on to people who are not coming to Eurovision for something different. I don't think it will stand out. It's coming right before Slovenia. I think, I think, you know, people would just be like, nah, I'm not going to vote for this. Like, I might be thinking about this, but oh, no, 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 no. Th there is better stuff. There is better stuff. So Poland, for now, I'm crossing out. That leaves three. Denmark, Lithuania, and Australia. I think Lithuania is going through. Ballads in the last, you know, segments of the show tend to do better than ballads in the early segments of the show. That does not mean it's going to qualify. 
But I think there is, you know, one diaspora that's been consistent every fucking year. And it's been the Lithuanian diaspora. They always tune in. They always tune in. Run with the Lions would have qualified in a really tough semi with the televote. This is going to the final. This is going to the final. It's, it's not a bad song, actually. It's a good song. I like it. Lithuania is going to bad. True, guys. True. Now, I think Australia is not going to do as well as people are saying because it's... It's not really something outside the box. The running order, however, really helps it. Denmark is better than we think. The, the melody is really, really catchy, but it's opening the show. So I think, I actually think these two will, will be close. They could both qualify and they could both not qualify. I don't know. But if I have to pick one, of, like I, I narrowed it down to these two. I want Denmark between these two. But the 10th qualifier for me here is Australia. It's not a safe qualifier by no means. It's literally the last one I have on my list, but the running order could really do wonders for them. I don't think we're gonna see both Denmark and Australia for some reason in the final. I really don't. That's it. That's my reaction for semi-final two. Talk to me in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I crazy? Let me know downstairs in the comments. And while you're at it, come and subscribe if you guys want more content like this. I'm here to give it to you. Thank you so much. If you're even considering subscribing, tell me how I can make you subscribe. And like this video if you did enjoy it. Come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok for more Eurovision related material. I will see you guys later because I have more special content coming for you.